Hello, my own your darkness, dead darkness here for you guys in another part one on one video. And last episode, we decided to help Monkeysta. Let's go back to Skull Island and do this quest for Morgan. <laughs> We're gonna become heroes. Because that's what swashbucklers are. They're heroes. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ahoy there, Just pirate. Don't like I need to tell you about an exciting addition to player versus they feel player like combat. Come see me that. straight away. This is useless and has to help me. My niece, little Penelope, Tells was coming to visit me, but her ship was attacked by the Dauntless. The Dauntless, huh? You haven't heard of the Dauntless? No, I have not. It's Luther Bancroft's ship. They say he's a deadly swordsman who strikes with blinding speed before you've even drawn your blade. I've heard of you. You're something of a hero. Please, I beg you, seek out the Dauntless. Save my niece. If that's not a challenge, what is? You're the Dauntless! Yep. Sounds yeah. Thing is, that guy wasn't an NPC that was standing there before. I guess it's like specifically for this quest and this quest only. <laughs> Cause some of the NPCs that you guys see around here that just have their names and they don't have like a symbol to talk to. There are other NPCs that you'll eventually talk to, you've already talked to, and they're still there just for reasons. Or that's it actually. Yeah, man, I think that that's it. <laughs> Those are only reasons for them being there. But they don't have like a symbol that shows that they're a shop owner or anything like that. Or they have a quest for you or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, find the minutes with the doors. She's a trade ladies. I think this is trade ladies. Nope, that's water. Yeah. So I guess there's literally like only one way to get that kind of stuff. Uh, trade ladies. The rest go to possible. Because both of the blue ends of the point here and the squad leads to philosophy and this one leads to philosophy so you know, that's enough of my own they are the person who put two more on the road It said something there, press X and the board, and then it said something else. I'm assuming if you board the ship, then you'll get into a battle. What's this? Some young whelp trespassing upon my ship. Uh, boys, get them and toss them to the storm sharks. I can't believe you calm down. Yeah, that's him. It's the same dog pirate like. Uh, I guess the graphics. Same dog pie graphics as a. Who's the guy I'm thinking of? Oh, yeah, it's Shepard. Pretty sure it's the exact same. 
Captain America looking at his boy. <laughs> See how this works. Unless you guys, you guys have used this skill before, then you'll know how it works. This is my first time using it, so yeah. This is the furthest I've gotten in this any character I've used. So everything from here on out is just a blind playthrough. I get hit plenty. 
Like, even though this war, it makes me take it in because they're still guarded. Nah, nah. <laughs> I ain't about that family. <laughs> Thing is, now I gotta finish this guy up real quick. Yeah. My boy. Didn't have to do it to her, but she did. <laughs> Apparently we're just gonna leave her here now, so yeah, so now we're just gonna go out because I'm sailing all the way back. <laughs> I'm sure we feel this, but. No. Sailing, it doesn't. Thank you, pirate, for resting. What the? I'll see that she makes her way back. Present boxes, though. Because I understand the pumpkins and the Halloween colored balloons. And banners, but why make present boxes as well? Like game devs, <laughs> no. I'm probably just gonna have those there so that then. What I need to code into the game is different colored present boxes and balloons and banners for when it comes for the crit around the time for the Christmas update. Because I doubt they're gonna do a Thanksgiving one. <laughs> like a lot of games don't do Thanksgiving uh, related stuff just because it's not as easy. To do something like that. Straight up. Luther Bancroft? Very good! This, I think, is only a beginning. You, Swashbuckler, will be my masterpiece. If you like, I can show you that soul trick of his. And go! Oh. oh. So that's how you get first strike, apparently. <laughs> this weekend. Ah, that's cool. Well, now I have first strike. That's the only thing I have me now, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, Sadly, guys, it's back to my Easter. Question: Do I have to put this uh, mask back on? Oh no, the game just saw him actually put it back on me. Okay. Oh, well, I assume these guys are good, so. I don't wait. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it will matter if I walk in front of it. I guess I gotta go in here. Yep, this one will be some point. You come from the library? I can see why Jerome hired you. 
You can reach the tallest shelf. Elon, man. That's a... You know what? It's 2019. Let's not judge. Jerome inquired after a book of verses. I have it here. Does he have the geographical treatise I asked for in return? Excellent. Uh, run along now. Yeah. My guy talked to Tito in the piece of sea. Why are you hiding out in the back alley? Great son, you have the stature of a titan, my child. What is your error? You come from the library. Ah, you seek a certain historical volume. I fear I have given it back to its owner. Go to Dan Salmanco and offer him the volume you would have given me. Walk in the shade of the holy tree, my child. Yeah, he's like literally just right away. You are very tall, child. Librarian Jerome sent you. I know what he wants, as he sent what I asked for. Good. Here is uh, uh, the book he asked for. If uh, anyone asks, uh, you didn't get it from me. Yeah. Come on. His account of La Mancha and the Paul. It was Martin Valvida who lifted the great relic of Saint Bonzo from the battlefield and held it high. Martin set sail with his two brothers aboard the Cornelius. They never reached their home in Gibonia. Their ship crashed in Diablo Cut. There you have it, pirate. The Valvida brothers took the monkey's paw and were lost in Diablo Cut. It must still be there. And Cornelius, Cornelius Sindu. Uh, I was about to say, I'm not gonna have to go and wait through because if I am loading, I might as well use that light found button. Man. Wait. What? Is my ship bottled? Why did you bother me? It's like, that's not mine, so where is this one? That's a cool freaking flag though, that that person has. I'm on piece to see, but uh, the bells, yeah. If it's not bad, why do you use the I guess. I'm sorry, I got that close. In case you guys can't tell, I am like laying my head here today than I was yesterday in all of those houses and met mix ups so I was happy with this game. So I'm glad the game's working right today. I 
which I agree for this because if I have a feeling I'm gonna start using it a lot just for the sake of leaving that one into it's spinning my patience on going at normal speed. Yeah, of course. So. Ah, who is playing? Who got to take a dinky to the elbow guy? Okay. Diablo cut. I do not like how it looks, Captain. We must be cautious. <laughs> what is that shield there? Well, it's called Devil Cut for a reason. There's the knife in there. Okay. The shield has writing all over it. Someone pieced it. Can anybody read it? Apparently, I can. <laughs> or one of us can. I can read it. Oh. Here's what it said To any who find this marker. Turn back. Death is all that awaits you in Diablo God. Take heed. This marker was raised to honor the memory of the brothers Valvida and their loyal soldiers. Their great prize, the monkey's paw, was their undoing. Okay, that's way more riding than what's well, actually here. The paw was their doom, and none of them survived. It must be up this way. Let's go get it. Yep. New quest storms of doom. Oh wow, look at all these storms of doom. Is that what we're gonna what we're gonna do? It's just name acting after doom in this place or something. <laughs> oh, this looks like your ship right. Yeah, be the ship, oh captain, my captain. Something be very wrong here. I feel a great shadow, like a curse. Walk carefully. Oh, do I have to? Oh. Good thing I actually can't fall off that because, yeah, this game doesn't have the easiest movement controls. I guess I'm gonna have to fight some ghosts, some monkey ghosts or something. I'm just calling shots, <laughs> calling, calling this shit out at this point. Lucky I like puns to that beard, otherwise I would not let that go. <laughs> if you hate to get a corn and pulse. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start making more use of the fact that I can set up away from anything like this. I think that's all shows over here. If I get the right camera angle. Yep. Yeah. Probably not chess I can open if I have let's see. Hello. <laughs> oh no, spin your venomous seeds at me. I'll go teleport to the floor and slap me, silly. Oh, he's. Oh, well, never mind. 
I was gonna see him, he's only slapping the skeleton fire. There. They're slapping gas fire too. And he's gonna get their arms in the first shot. And boy, why are you moving when you get like, your cheap shot? It? You better be lucky you blocked that. We're able to post. <coughs> My fault, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why you always look at you and see what I'm gonna start there. God damn it. I think I was attacking it from the very beginning. <laughs> Because the game's telling me I gotta attack it to win, so I'm gonna attack it to win. <laughs> So the thing dodge and hug. Okay. Oh, there's some wrong. Well, never mind, just say don't try any dodge and push. Yeah. So, there was clearly gold in there, game. Do not freaking trick me. <laughs> there was gold in there, I saw it. You can't lie to me like that. What's next, the k tail be a lie? Oh, I thought that. My bad was going to attack the light. Bitch, no. Shit. Perhaps not. Let me work me out. Yeah. Oh, God. K 
Can I get him? It's in the alliance to have those there. I'm a peace north. Speak quickly. My soul longs to leave this place of horror. You seek the monkey's paw? Turn back. It was my death and the death of so many. Don Valvida was so happy and so foolish. Yeah. My lord, Don Martin Valdiva, won the monkey's paw in battle. He and his brother sailed for home, and we traveled with him, loyal to the end. But a storm drove our ship into Diablo Cat and wrecked it. We were stranded for weeks, with no hope of rescue. Don Martin looked to the paw. As our food ran out, Don Martin wished for something to eat. His wish was granted. The red vines grew, but they grew to eat, not be eaten. We were decimated. Don Martin, his brothers, and his survivors fled to the cavern of the Crescent Moon. The poor must still be with him. Okay, this wish was wholesome. Yes. Or maybe he was asking for something to eat, like just by himself. They asked for something for him and his crew members to eat. At last, the paw is within our reach. This cavern does not frighten me. Ahoy, pirate! You're going into a dungeon. If you log out or leave for more than 30 minutes, you'll Let's have to save one hour. But. At most, it's gonna take probably 30 minutes. Still, though, it's 32 minutes already on the timer up here, so. I guess I'll end it here. But, yeah, anyway, that's gonna be open now, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and cheers for your friend or family member. Also, we never have to get notified on my next episode. Or you can follow me on Twitter to get notified as well. Link to my Twitter is gonna be in the description below, along with the link to the Power 101 playlist. So, yeah, if there's anything, guys, thanks for the better video of your rap here. Because your story was like all up in the screen at first, like that. But anyway, so if you guys missed out on any of the Power 101 episodes, then you can also click on that link to the Power 101 playlist and watch those. Or if there's just a certain episode you like, you can rewatch it. Because I do that sometimes as I rewatch a Let's Play that someone did. But, now I'm said and done. That's going to be all for now. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.